In this video, I will discuss an audit program for software development. So audit program works throughout different phases of software development starting from requirement phase, then design, implementation, verification, and operations and maintenance. So audit program or auditing for software development uh, can be used as a compliance tool to ensure conformance to the governance. And it also verifies the security controls of software development life cycle. And uh, auditing should be adopted as per the deployment methodology. For example, uh, the waterfall projects, the same uh, phase arrives every year. Uh, therefore, uh, you have to develop a process for continuous collection of audit evidences to provide complete visibility whenever such audit occurs. Furthermore, auditing can be uh, done for non-security purposes, for example, auditing the schedule, budget, or resources. And overall, the auditing gives uh, an organization the chances to uh, for starting new initiatives and also a competitive edge in the market. Now the first phase of software development life cycle is uh, requirement gathering. So uh, in this phase, it is very critical to, uh, to audit uh, the requirements or the all the process which is involved to gather the requirements because it will ensure the secure design of the application. So mostly it involves uh, the reviews of different uh, requirement documentation, for example, requirement analysis documentation or uh, the requirements itself. Now, furthermore, uh, you may have to review the privacy uh, impact assessment or the data classification process or the system categorization process. All these uh, processes or artifacts are uh, outcome of uh, requirement phase. So you have to audit all these artifacts while auditing the requirement phase of software development lifecycle. Next one is the design. And uh, you have to audit that uh, either different alternatives are evaluated and either these alternatives are assessed against uh, their satisfaction uh, of the requirements which you have gathered in previous phase. For example, uh, application may be hosted on the cloud or on the server uh, which are deployed on your premises. So all such a design alternative uh, should map to the requirements and you have to review these during auditing the design phase of software development life cycle. Uh, furthermore, you have to review that the former risk assessment is performed in design phase and there, uh, is, there was also a decision process and risk uh, acceptance process for the residual risk. So all uh, these artifacts should be audited in uh, auditing the design phase of software development lifecycle. Then comes the implementation phase. So mostly uh, you have to audit the hands-on activity of code writing or testing the functionalities. Furthermore, uh, you may also audit the security testing process 
of course use or you may also perform uh, penetration testing and check the response of different controls uh, once you conduct this penetration testing activity for example if uh, you are trying to write and then deploy the code from same account this should be blocked by security control because it is a violation of uh, separation of duties now next uh, thing you have to audit is different uh, documentation reviews for example uh, is there any documentation exist with regards to testing activities or the corrective actions on uh, the result of testing activities so you have to audit all such documentation in implementation phase of software development life cycle then last thing is uh, to audit is the actually the interview process so you may conduct the interviews of the developers to check their uh, knowledge against different SOPs Our next phase uh, which you have to audit in software development life cycle is the verification phase and verification uh, is an oversight function so you have to audit either this oversight function was followed properly and the test testing activities were conducted properly furthermore uh, the test cases were designed properly and you may also conduct the test coverage analysis and you can also uh, check that either different types of tests were performed against the application and all such tests uh, were passed before uh, you this application was deployed in production environment So last uh, phase of software development life cycle is the operational maintenance phase. So this is the longest phase therefore bulk of your auditing activities happens here. Because different laws, regulations and also different frameworks uh, require that uh, some external audits should be conducted or uh, the systems which are in production should be audited uh, frequently. So this was all with regards to audit uh, program for software development. Thank you.